。今天要说的这件事情非常有意思啊，地点是美国的科罗拉多州，主角是这名黑人小哥。这位小哥可不普通，他是企业的老板，开着宝马，非常的有钱，他也非常的自信。不过不巧的是，今天他被警察给拦停了，警察要搜他的车。Now these officers are pulling me over. They said it was a tag. Now they're saying that I have drugs. I have no drugs. I'm a business owner. I'm late to pick up my wife. Now they're trying to tell me that I have to step out. I haven't committed a crime. I'm going to pick up my wife. I got pulled over, cited by these officers, saying my tag. Now they're pulling me over, talking about they want me to get out. No crime has been committed. And they have reasonable, articulable suspicion by constitutional law that I have to have drugs in my car, and they are therefore allowed to do a search on my car. Now I've told you that I have no drugs in the car. I've told you that I'm not getting out the car because I know the law. I haven't committed a crime. If you want to violate my rights further, I promise you, you're going to be famous. And I'll tell you right now. I don't normally do this, but we have some drug detectives that were following you, and wow. yeah, and they think where they follow have... where they follow me from. Tell me. Well, I don't have that information, but I travel they... this road every day. Okay. My wife is a doctor in Boulder. 嗯哼。警察拦停黑人老板，说要查毒品，要求老板下车。其实老板还是懂点法律的。显然，警察无权搜查车辆，因为他们没有搜查令。也没有证据能够证明老板的车子里有毒品，他们这种随机的搜查根本就不合法。他们起初拦停老板的理由是车牌问题，现在又变成了查毒品的问题，而且他们还编了一个谎言，说有侦探跟踪黑人老板，然后提供信息给警察。如果真是这样，警察拦停的时候就可以直接说查毒品，而不用拐弯抹角的说是车牌问题。They want you out of the car, and we want to do a sniff on the car with the drug dog. I'm, I'm not. You don't have. Call your supervisor. Okay, I'll get the. I'll get. Are the, you going to violate my、uh, violate my rights? I just told you、uh, call your supervisor.、Uh, I'm late picking up my wife, bro. And I can go. I can get information from other officers that tell me they have probable cause to do a sniff on your car. Because I'm a black man in a Beamer. I had no idea you were a black man until I saw you. Because I'm a black man in a Beamer. Did not know with the tinted windows. I don't care about you, whoever your uh, supposed um, detectives are that follow me. Man, I travel this road daily, back and forth, multiple times.、Yeah. My wife works in Boulder. If you violate my rights, I'm going to make a case against you, and I'm going、okay. to win. Okay. You're profiling me because I'm black. It has nothing to do with that. You're profiling me because I'm black, bro. You just happen to be black, and I just happen. To no, be you just happen to not be the first officer of white descent. To call me a drug dealer because I'm in a Beamer. My family is rich.、Okay. My family is rich. I don't have to sell drugs. We own construction companies, restaurants, entertainment businesses, houses, real estate, and all type of. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. 黑人老板说了，家里有各种产业，也很富有，根本不需要通过卖毒品来赚钱。警察之所以要查他，完全是因为看到他开着豪车，怀疑他的收入不合法。老板说，这就是警察查他的原因。警察的言论也很奇葩。他突然冒出来的这句话让老板很无语。A lot of people that sell drugs get rich, and then they have these other shell companies that、uh, are shell companies. You're profiling me. Are you gonna violate my rights? We'll, 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 we'll I asked you to call your supervisor. Okay, we're working on that. I've asked him to call his supervisor. Everybody. You want to go back and say he wants my supervisor? I don't. I've already told him I have no drugs in the car. Watch this. If you have no drugs, a, a dog sniffing it will be. Bro, you can little, bring your little... dog. Bro, you can bring your dog all you want. You're gonna look stupid as fuck. I promise you. Okay. And I'm a suit. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. My family richer than a mother. I ain't gotta sell nothing. I'm set for life. You about to find out. Watch, racist mother. Pull me over for a tag. They said it was a tag. Now they're saying I'm a drug dealer. Detectives were following me.
A supervisor is on the way to talk to you, okay? But I do need you to exit the vehicle now. I haven't committed a crime and so, I'm not getting out the car. You're not okay. going to violate my rights. I know the rights. I got a lawyer. We got sir. lots of lawyers. I appreciate that, sir. But by, I didn't even have to give him my information and I cooperated. If I was a drug dealer, why not run? Okay. If I was a drug dealer, why did I give my? I know the law. I don't even have to give him my information well, you do, because exactly. I haven't committed a crime, okay. bro. You operate your vehicle with expired registration. That's not a crime, bro. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. civil court, bro. Okay, so listen to me, sir. Sir, we're asking you nicely. Legally speaking, we have the right. The Supreme Court has already decided we can ask you to get out of the vehicle. You choose to not get out of the vehicle is a criminal offense in itself. Uh, we don't want to go that area go that route. Watch this, y'all. Okay, so a supervisor is on the way, but you need to get out of that vehicle because if you don't, we're going to remove you from the vehicle and you'll be charged with a crime. You'll be violating my rights and I'm going to sue the and fuck you, out of you. And that's your choice as an American citizen. No. But we don't want to have to get that way, so if you get out of the vehicle, we don't have to use force when we don't have to. 现在警察强行要求老板下车，那么警察到底有没有这个权利呢？受美国宪法第四修正案的保护，车子是黑人老板的私人财产，执法人员无权侵犯。如果他们真的想搜查车子，需要满足几个条件。首先就是车主自己同意，不过一般的美国车主都不会同意。其次就是要有搜查令，很明显，警察手上没有任何的文件，他们只是随机搜查。另外还有一个一目了然原则，如果警察透过车窗可以看到车内的违禁品，那么他们也有权利进行搜查。就目前的条件来看，警察是无权搜车的，法律是这么规定的，但是往往现实会复杂得多。警察会说他们有合理的怀疑理由来搜车，因为根据最高法院的规定啊，如果警察有可能的理由相信车内有毒品，那么他们就可以搜车。一般双方都会对这个可能的理由有争议，这个可能的理由到底有没有依据呢？如果非要争出个对错，那么就需要上法庭由法官来判断。眼前的这几名警察不是善茬，黑人老板看情况不妙，好汉不吃眼前亏，于是妥协了。决定下车，允许警察搜查。Hey, look, I'm gonna let them search, y'all. Watch this. I want all y'all badge numbers. I ain't even seen stuff out here. I want you to check everything in here. I'm gonna open up the trunk for you too. I'm gonna open up the trunk for you. I want y'all to see this search. Have a good search. Have a good search. Watch this, y'all. It's nothing. It's other person. It's because I'm black and I'm in a beamer, cuz. Look at my family, Rich. You're about to find out. Which way? It's nothing about that, bro. It's, it's because of that right there. You see that? I want to watch him search my vehicle. That's my right. That's my right. I can watch him search my vehicle. I'm right here. You don't have to be right on his back. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Go back there. I'm right here. You got to back. You got to go back there. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not violating I don't want to put my hands on you, but you need to go back here. I'm not violating nothing. Please follow me. I have the right to walk. I have the body camera on. If, if, it's not going to be anything. Well, 老板想监督警察搜车，他的担心并不是多余的，因为在之前发生过多起警察栽赃的案件，就是警察在搜车的时候，顺手在车里放一包白面粉，这样车主就有理说不清了。老板想上前监视，但是被警察给无情的拒绝了。经过警察的仔细搜查以后，并没有发现任何的违禁品。老板开始质问警察：“你们说我是毒贩，根本就是在撒谎。你们说的侦探在哪里？”警察支支吾吾的，根本就答不上来。You said somebody gave you intel that I was a drug dealer, and drug detectives followed me. They, they gave me intel to stop a car, to, to identify you, and then also to sniff the car. Who is these individuals that told you this? They're, I have a right to know. My lawyer is going to want to know too. Yeah. Well, it'll be in a, a copy of our documentation. A copy of your documentation. Yes. You're documenting me when I was originally stopped for my tag. Yes. I mean, and that was my reason for stopping. But you're documenting me. Everything is documented. It's everything. Everything. everything is documented. Like this. So who are these people? Where they followed me from? You said they followed me. Where did they follow? I don't have all that information. 毒品没有找到，显然黑人老板是清白的，而警察所谓的侦探情报可能就是个谎言。黑人老板也决定要把警察告上法庭。法官最后会怎么判？目前还不知道。一般来说，警察需要搜查令才能搜查汽车，除非他们有可能的理由相信汽车内有毒品。可能的正当理由是指警方有证据或合理怀疑已经或者正在发生的犯罪行为。例如，如果警方闻到车内有违禁品的味道，看到车内有吸毒用具，或收到可靠线人提供的线索。
，也就是本案中警察所说的侦探情报，他们就有理由在没有搜查令的情况下搜查车辆。但黑人老板认为警察的理由是不正当、不真实的，他们这是在侵犯自己的合法权利。大部分网友也都支持黑人老板，相信最后法官会还他一个公道。